Hey everyone, I'm Rosie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm doing a video I've literally wanted to do since I made my YouTube channel like five years ago. I'm finally doing a room tour. I wanted to do this, like I said, since I made my channel, but my room was never really nice. <laughs> like it didn't have a nice theme, aesthetic. It was just all over the place. And then this past summer, I redid my room, which I have that video on my channel, my room transformation, which is also actually my most viewed video. So check it out if you want to. I will link it down below. Or you might be coming to this video after that one. Who knows? But I've been meaning to do this video since I redid my room in September. And it is finally here. Late, but finally here. And I also actually have a second room. So if you're wondering where my clothes are, they're in a different room, so if you want to see a tour of that room, you can give this video a thumbs up or comment that. This room is just like, oh, my favorite. I love it. I'm in here like all the time and it's pretty small, but I made the space work pretty much by like not keeping my clothes in here. But yeah, I just love my little cozy room and let's get into the tour. So here's my door and I just walk in and first things first, I put my dog on my bed. <laughs> She ran out of the room when I closed the door to try and get a cool entrance way into my room. So I had to hold her to bring her back in here. But anyways, here's my door. I just walked in it, as you saw. So this is like my least favorite thing in my room. It's hideous, but it is like this ugly bag from Subway, actually, which I got like a million years ago. But it just keeps like all my hair stuff, like my hairbrush and like my elastics and stuff. I literally just haven't found any other bag to keep that stuff in so I have this ugly bag right now you turn this way you have my desk nightstand shelves bed Sasha mirror and TV area this desk I got five or six years ago from Ikea and with the chair and same with this purple pillow I keep on it because this chair is extremely uncomfortable without it. this garbage from like Dollarama and in my desk it's like as clean as it can get. Honestly, it just looks very unorganized, but that's as good as it's gonna get. My sister tanned me, I forgot to tan my hand. If you can tell, yeah, you can definitely tell. Yeah, try to ignore that. But this is where I keep makeup. I just got like this kind of, you know, makeup-ish kind of stuff, really irrelevant stuff. Makeup brushes, palettes, my mirror. I love this mirror. You can see me, hey. This mirror's from Marshalls or like Home Sense or Outfitters, one of those kind of stores. It's got like, you know, the zoomed in mirror too. So yeah, do my makeup here. So these makeup brush containers or holders are from Target before Target left Canada. Rest in peace. This palette holder is from Marshalls. These are from Walmart. This is also from Target. I remember getting this in the dollar section. Here I just keep concert tickets because I always have to keep those. Then I just have another brush holder for my eye brushes and the newest addition to my desk is this pimple medicine and it says do not shake so it can't be upside down or anything so I have to keep it standing up so I just keep it here because I really have nowhere else to put it so I just have another makeup holder this is like lips and all that kind of stuff and Kleenex my glasses case this lamp and in this lamp I keep just like pens little cream chalk scissors just like you know desk kind of stuff and down here I have a power bar and this little thing that keeps like other pimple medicines and creams. So, moving up from the desk, I have my two IKEA shelves. These things are so cheap, like I swear they're like $9 each. I keep this little sign that says you got this from Michael's. I have this little candle, which I've never used, it's just for the aesthetic, from Indigo. And then this fake plant, obviously you can tell it's really fake from Marshalls. Second one, I have these two poetry books, another fake plant from Marshalls, and this frame from Paprius. And then I just have a picture of me, my sister, and our friend. This picture from Indigo. So my room theme is like gold, gray, white, black, and marble. So I have this wonderful marble picture of ice. Love this picture. It was like the last thing I bought while redoing my room and I just really think it makes the room on. Down here I have my nightstand. My grandma gave me this nightstand and it was uh, like a dark and it was a dark brown color and I painted it white and I changed the knobs to these little flowers which were also white and I painted them black. This lamp from Walmart actually and it's so cute. I love it. Walmart's room decor section has really improved itself. 
So it's gold and then like marble stand or no marble. I don't know stand bottom So yeah Polaroid camera, which like is room decor, but I also use it and it's just had no other space So I think it's cute here and I have this gold hashtag as you can probably tell the gold Isn't really the same color in any of the gold stuff I have in here, but I think it all still flows well so it's this gold hashtag, which is from Marshalls, and it's got a marble bottom. Then I have this holder for my keys, which I got from Hallmark, and it says, I have nothing to lose but my keys and my phone. I just have it here because I have nowhere else to keep my keys, and I think it's just cute, and it matches the camera. Then I just have my two nightstands, or my two drawers. This is just like notebooks and receipts and keychains. And then this one, it's like extra film, concert ticket, and Polaroid photo album. So moving down, I have this picture that my friend Rachel gave me of us, and then I have these coasters, which are from the bay, and they're like kind of a marbly. I have coasters in here is because I always have drinks in here, and whenever I have drinks in here, it always leaves a circle um, on my like nightstand or my desk, and I just hate that because then it like stains. So I just you know use a little coaster. Honestly, I don't need as many as I have. It just came in a pack of four, so obviously like I bought the whole pack but I only ever use one of them. And it honestly just makes cute room decor too. Next to my nightstand is my bed. So I have shutters, which is actually a very new addition. I used to have just like curtains that I'd pull up and down, which is another reason why I waited so long to do this because the curtains were just disgusting. This shutter is open 100% of the time so she can look out the window, but right now she's sleeping. So I was able to close it so it looks better. Looking up, I have a dream catcher from icing and it's so cute I love it so my bed I have this nice gray body pillow from Walmart and this whole bedspread actually is from Walmart except not these and not my black bed skirt but I don't know where that is from but this is from Walmart and it's got this cute flower rose kind of design it's like a quilt and then it's gray on the inside so I just fold it and I actually do sleep with all five of these pillows. I love pillows. Ashen just lying on the bed. Her fur looks crazy because I just gave her a bath. Then I, I'm talking about you. Did you know that? Definitely did. A blanket on the edge of my bed from Ikea. And this was literally $3. Which is the main reason why I got it. And it kind of matches everything. Puts it all together. Oh my god, you look so cute. This bare wall. I don't think I'll ever put anything on it. I just kind of like how it looks. Just like this. So this is kind of my least favorite area of my room. I got rid of my door in here and I put my TV in here. I don't really like how it looks. It looks messy to me no matter how much I organize it. So like maybe eventually I'll get a curtain, but I feel like that would make the room look smaller. So I don't know what I'm going to do. So I just have my TV, my like little cable box, remotes, DVD player. Going down here, I have this light up R. Let me light it up from Michaels. Love that. Books. This little elephant from Marshalls. Down here I have all my old Seventeen magazines from like 2012 and 2013. Two Taylor Swift books. And I got this little case where I just keep nail stuff. Then I have the candle holder and a little bunny that my friend got me and I keep my belly button rings in here. Then I have more books and this little skull I got from Cabo. It's really cute. and I just, I really wanted one when I went there, so I had to get it. I just have this little Eiffel Tower candle holder from, I don't even know, maybe Pier 1 from like years ago. Then I just keep whatever purse I'm using here because I really have nowhere else to put them, so currently using this tiny Nine West purse. More books! Another, you cannot see, but I have another Eiffel Tower holding them from Pier 1. And then in here, I have earrings. And then I have this neck that just holds all my necklaces. This holds my rings and watch. Those are just like glasses cleaner, ear cleaner, and another case with earrings in them. So this is now where the room gets ugly. I just have like random stuff, all DVDs here. And like makeup case and beats case and just a random flower. In these totes I just have like so much random stuff. Then I keep my favorite jackets here and just like purses. So I just have a bunch of jackets back here. I have a picture of me and my friend at the movies. This laptop, lap, table thing in here. Extra purses, 
this area I just hate. It's just extra purses and my tripod and bags and all that. I have this cute little backpack that is going to become my carry-on. I have robes and just so much bags. I am obsessed with bags. Moving away from that area, I have this clock. When I redid my room, this was the first thing I bought. It is a marble clock from Winners or Marshalls, same thing. I have this mirror. I have no idea where this is from because I've had it forever. And if you watch my vlogs, I usually always do my outfit of the days in this mirror. So yeah, here it is. And that's pretty much my room because it's, you know, pretty small. It doesn't take that long to go through, but I'll do a little spin around. So that is it for my room tour. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and hopefully this video helped you maybe with ideas on how to style a small room or just room ideas in general. Oh, as you can see here, she wants to look out the window. Watch out, I'll open the shutter for you. Watch out. Yeah, this is how it is on a daily basis. See you in my next video. Bye.